Welcome to Darkwood. This is a survival horror game that's been bouncing around early access for a while, and I actually backed it years ago on Indiegogo, but it came out of early access a little while ago, and I've heard it's really good. So haven't seen any videos of it, don't know what it's about other than it's survival horror, but let's jump into it. I have played for just a couple minutes just to kind of check the audio settings and stuff like that. Let's begin a new profile, normal difficulty, not going to skip the prologue. Uh, it says Indiegogo content. This option enables additional cool but immersion breaking content. I'm not exactly sure what that would be, but I guess I'll turn it off. And let's begin. You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods, be patient, focus. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. So here we go. Sort of like, uh, I guess you call it like a twin stick control scheme. Not that I'm actually using a gamepad where you control a movement with in this case, WASD, although I'm sure you could use a gamepad, and then aim around with the mouse. Let's take a look around. Pills. So this seems to be my inventory here, and I think these one through three are my quick slots, I believe. And I think this is my health, and this is my stamina, this white bar. Old notepad. Yeah, I noticed can look at some stuff and it's like, it looks like actual real pictures. You can kind of like drag them around and stuff. It's pretty cool. Nothing written on it, apparently. And I don't know where that went. Like, it doesn't seem to be in my inventory anymore. Potatoes. The only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. <laughs> Just a pile of potatoes on the ground. Alcohol distiller. A homemade device for producing moonshine. Look at how grimy this place is. Yeah, apparently you can drag stuff. I can't seem to turn it once I'm dragging it, so once I'm dragging it, I guess if it's kind of locked into place with its rotation. I wonder if you can use this to, like, barricade doors or something. The generator is almost down to juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. I have to say, so far this is gorgeous. And atmospheric as hell. So I think I just explored this room when I played for a couple minutes and then that was all I explored. Lots of blood. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. Yeah, so judging by the the little like prologue video and just some of the stuff that we've already seen around here, especially the medical tools, I guess I think I'm playing a doctor, and apparently everybody everybody around the village seems to sort of 
blame me? Somehow? They think I'm maybe the cause of some sort of plague that's happening? And it looks like I've been trying to help them, but I guess to no avail, given what he just said. So, I'm sure there's monsters around, definitely, but I wonder if the villagers themselves, are they all gonna try to kill me, or just, are they just kind of afraid of me, or what? I guess we'll find out. Cages. This time, they're empty. I see some things in there, and I hear them too. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Hmm. Steady subject, perhaps? Are these all metal doors? Nope. This one's a metal door, the others seem to be wood. Guess this one needed to be extra secure. Rag. Value 7, max 5. It's worth 7 monies? So, the generator is almost out of juice. Given the light and the generator is almost out of juice, and the fact that I have a flashlight, and the fact that it's called dark wood, I'm guessing darkness equals death. What the hell are these growths on the ground? Container. Locked. Has jammed a long time ago. Never mind, I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. Ah. So it's white, it's got a little white dot when it's in interaction range, it goes dark when it's out. Okay. <laughs> That's my bed. I've just woken up. What the hell is that noise? Oh, that's a radio. The radio's been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Can I mess with it at all? Doesn't look like it. Wish I could turn the damn thing off, it's creepy. Barricaded window, dismantle. Yeah, I heard- I saw something on the- like, I looked at the Steam page for this just for a quick description. It said something about... Like, there's sort of a- sort of a- I think a day-night cycle sort of thing? Or something like that, where you kind of go out to gather materials and stuff like that, and then barricade yourself in here for the night. So I'm guessing that's there's going to be like a barricading kind of thing. Switch off. Uh, maybe I'll leave it on. Ooh. Quickly produced moonshine, barely filtered. Some alcohol, some more rags. Boards. Open the front door to my house with this. It's a key, okay. Oh, that doesn't go to my inventory. I guess all keys are stored on like a keyring. Matchstick. Medical book. Ooh. Well, text is too small to read. Something circled. Some sort of a nasty infection or wound on that person's cheek. Medical notes. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Best not enter this room right now. Whoa. Fuck. Did I just move this wardrobe? I did. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you can even move the lamp? Huh. Wonder if I could... I can't seem to drag it unless there's like some way to switch interaction modes. But I can push it. Hm. 
I really wish I had a weapon. The cursor has a plus icon next to it. You can hold left mouse button to open the selected object's action menu. Oh. Oh, so there are different modes for doing that. Barricade, open, use key. Okay. So I assume I can probably drag this. Yes. Cool. Mm. Looks like a monstrous dog and it's alive. Oh, no. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Christ. Is it, I mean, is it just wounded or is it infected and like turning into a monster or something? Rope. I don't even know how I'd end it suffering. I don't seem to have any sort of a, a weapon or anything. Used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. Large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Why do you have that there? <laughs> you trying to make your life even creepier? So it's interesting. Some things appear in the light and some things don't. Like the dog only appears in the light, maybe entities only appear in the light? And some of the like root stuff around here also only appears? But just the basic like ground seems to appear just fine. So you kind of have to be looking if you want to know if something's chasing you, I guess. Christ, can I just walk into the woods? Because I'm not doing that. Space to vault over obstacles like fences or windows. Can I really not do anything with you? Ah. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay on the path. Well, there's an axe. Um, how do I equip it? Okay, looks like it's tab for inventory. So I'll probably put that in the hotbar. Maybe matchsticks as well? Maybe pills? I'm assuming that's like a healing item, maybe? Can I swing? Okay, so you hold down the right mouse button to kind of charge it up. Can you do a partial hit? Nope, you gotta wait for it to charge all the way up before you can hit, and it looks like it takes stamina. So you let it charge all the way up with right click and then left click to attack. <sighs> okay. Sorry, buddy. Christ, that's a horrible noise. Fucking hell. Oh, that sets the tone, doesn't it? Ugh. What if I can vault over that, or if I can just chop it? What well, weapons liked in your hotbar? Yep, tell me how to attack. Looks like I can just cut it. Ooh, look at the top left. The axe. When I was chopping that, that, like, red bar was going down, or the white bar was going down, depending on how you look at it. I think it has durability, and it looks like it doesn't have very much durability. These trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Bear trap. Snare traps. Must be careful, the woods are full of them. Oh god. Wouldn't want to be stuck with a broken leg in this dark forest. Yep, 
Yep, press shift to run. So I'm looking for a tractor for some fuel for the generator. I think that's the journal or something. I can't seem to open my journal. I'm still in the tutorial, I guess. Oh, there's a map. Your position on the map is not marked. When you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. Your current location is indicated in red. In order not to get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Okay, so navigation is going to be an important thing. So is, is there always going to be... like, a red mark? And I just need to know where I am within this area? Or do I have to do something to make the red mark appear? I guess we'll find out. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. It really is gorgeous. Oh, so this is a new location. Fallen tree. Okay. So I guess once you get to an area, yeah, it just automatically marks you. When you find some sort of a notable location. Campsite. To immediately transfer items between inventories, hold left control or left shift when clicking on it. Oh, that'll be useful. Board matches rags. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so it looks... Uh, can I put this back? Yeah, so if you click it, you get the whole stack, as you'd expect. If you control click it, it automatically transfers just one of it. And if you want to transfer all of it, it looks like control shift left click transfers the whole thing, instead of just one. Okay. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Torch or torch? So this one, it looks like it's made with fuel, and this one's made with alcohol. Okay. Board, rag, match, some sort of fuel. Makes sense. I guess I don't need the matches in the hotbar, probably. So I can't have the torch and the axe out. No, it doesn't look like it. Can I... So I can do some sort of, like, attack or something with the torch, but I think this might be to throw it. Well, only one way to find out. Nope, it's a swing. Okay. wonder how long it lasts. I'm sure it's not infinite. No way. Abandoned house. Might be something inside. Oh, that's to barricade it? Oh, you need nails to barricade. That makes sense. Boards don't stay up by themselves. Um, let's see. Can I, like, whack it down? Doesn't seem like it. So I guess you can't go through windows. Doesn't seem like there's a way inside from over here.
Is that a person? In a few days, we will be completely absorbed. Oh, actually, you don't need to hold Control Shift to get it all. You can just hold Shift and click it. Control for one, Shift for all of it. human's lower body and a deer's upper body. Similar, except looks like maybe a dog's upper body. I love how that grass looks. Uh oh. Uh, let's just not look at that. I love how soft the grass looks. Looks like they've been injured. Came from here. I think this one is still breathing. This one? Unconscious man. Doesn't look unconscious. Big metal key. If there's an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. 21. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. Need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. stole my key. I'm playing as this person now? I just assumed the other person was the main character. Perhaps this is... I don't know. Interesting. Well, I can maybe see where they got their reputation for uh, being distrusted. What do we got? Anything on me? 
It's all just possible things I could craft. Entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Clothes. A wire. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Okay, let's make some bandages. And let's make a lockpick. So how do I... how do I use it? Oh, just like, hold click on it. Okay, it looks like it's slowly healing me over time. You know, this feels vaguely familiar. I feel like I played... Maybe like a... Maybe there was a demo that came out with the Indiegogo campaign? I feel like I played like just this section. Vaguely familiar. Dismantle. Don't think that's gonna happen. Too strong to dismantle. Let's maybe try to lockpick our way in here. Ooh. Shuffle. It's heavy but has a good reach. And a flashlight. Love the sound work. Alright, now I'm gonna dismantle it. Or hit it. It's gonna break the shovel, isn't it? The item's no longer usable, I need to repair it. Uh oh! They were just right there. Now they're not. This used to be an... Oh... Uh, yeah, that's the door with the bad thing behind it, but it used to be a metal door, now it's a wooden door? What? Strange. No power. Generators failed. Syringe. Guessing the front door oh, barricaded. I better not leave the house at night, it's safer here. <laughs> if this is safer than outside, then outside's really bad, huh? So, is this... I feel like this is kind of like going back in time. Like, am I the person that ended up getting trapped in this room and that's why it's a wooden door and not a metal door? Because I remember that the doctor said I went through so much trouble to get them. So maybe they end up eventually capturing this person, putting them in there, putting a metal door there. Because this looks, this looks different as well. The notes here are different. Like this image is a little bit different. It's not the same. I don't feel like this is happening at the exact same time. Oh, there was a door here. Yeah, so I can move this. Okay, that's a torture chamber. Generator. Yeah, no fuel. Metal table with leather belt strapped on. Table leg. Very sturdy table leg. It's made out of oak. I can use it as a weapon. Gasoline. Refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, cover your cursor over the generator, hold right mouse button, followed by left mouse button to pour the gasoline. Well, that's pretty complicated. I 
Oh, I guess it's kind of like the... I guess right click is kind of like the universal ready the item to do something. You know, ready the board to attack. Oh, it turns on and off the flashlight. Maybe I... Maybe I don't want to use it all. What's that? Um... Corpse has two dials instead of eyes, his mouth is wide open, and I can hear a distorted voice barely distinguishable from the radio static. The light doesn't seem to do anything to it. Four eight nine two. Hmm. It's gone. Four eight nine two. Must be a password or something. Oh. Four eight. Oh. Who's there? Please let me out. Oh, no, okay, so I'm not that person. A person that was trapped in there is still in there, but why is it a wooden door then and not a metal door? Strange. <laughs> you open it, and of course, it just opens a crack. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force on it. Come closer. Oh no. I feel like dragging this lamp slowly over. Not that it's really gonna help, but... I feel like light can banish the creatures, although so far it doesn't really seem to that much. Oh, fuck! Okay. Small plastic chick. What the hell? That's creepy. Why? Why do you have it on you? Uh, what? How do you want to get out now? I think you can manage all by yourself? Yeah, I hear it. I think it might be time to go.
Well, this certainly isn't the same house. Where am I now? I wonder if that was sort of, um... Well, obviously this character does seem to be the main character. I wonder if it's going to be one of those kind of wraparound things where what we just saw was almost near the end, and now this is going back in time. We're going to end up seeing how I ended up getting injured. Well, so far, I love this game. I think I'm going to end this here. Seems like a pretty good spot. I hope you've enjoyed so far as well, and I'll definitely be back soon.